Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of our Cape Space Connection series. I'm your host, Haley Cote, Community Manager of Cape Space Mashpee, and our guest today is the leader of Seven Mile Road Church in Hyannis, a church whose mission is to create community, to be a church where neighbors become family, which I think is such an awesome mission. <laughs> he also happens to be one of the nicest guys around. <laughs> so without further ado, please welcome Jeremy Stewart. Jeremy, hello. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for joining us here. You, you ready to dive on in? Absolutely. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> so, Jeremy, so I just mentioned how, um, you know, your church's mission is all about creating a sense of family. And um, so in thinking of that, what can your parishioners expect when they when they walk through the doors of Seven Mile Road Church? Yeah, so we, um, we try to... Uh, the, the term that I like to use is that we try to basically set the table for people. Um, we try to uh, make it so that people know that we have prepared for them to come. And so what they can expect is um, a warm group of people who are going to greet them um, in terms of what we have going on. Like when they enter the door, uh, we try to provide like to be hospitable and provide coffee and refreshments as they come in and, um, and just a, a welcoming atmosphere. Hospitality is really big for us, and we define that as relational generosity. And so we try to be a relationally generous congregation. Um, they can also expect to encounter something that's a little bit out of the box, and that we meet in a community center uh, that's mm -hmm. shared with a nonprofit uh, called the Health Ministry in Hyannis. And um, we set up and tear down church every Sunday. And so that's a little bit different. At the same time, they can they're going to encounter um, like a church that feels like church, and that we're we try to stay connected to kind of the ancient history of the church, and being that uh, the church is two thousand plus year two thousand years old, right? And so there's a lot there, and and we try not to throw out the baby with the bathwater, and uh, so it's it'll be a unique experience. I can say that, and in a place where I think people are going to feel welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so, Jeremy, what would you say you love most about being a pastor? Yeah, well, there's so many things. Uh, I'm, you know, in the church world, I'm a, I'm a pastor, but also a church planter because we are a new mm -hmm. church um, and I wear a lot of hats, uh, but they're all things that I love doing. And so part of what I love about being a pastor is, um, number one, the people. That's what it's all about. Uh, is is serving the people of the church and the people of our community. Uh, but the ways that I get to do that are, are great. I, I love writing. So I get to do a lot of writing in preparation for my sermons. I love history. Uh, the Bible has a lot of history in it. Um, and there's a lot of surrounding context that I have to research. And I really enjoy that. Um, you know, my job can span from sitting and watching a two hour old movie with somebody who goes to our church just to spend time with him to uh, right now, just I'm trying to connect uh, some of our uh, Afghan refugees on Cape Cod to services uh, with the health ministry. And so just reaching out and trying to help our community. Um, I teach English classes on Tuesday nights to um, a group of 15 uh, Brazilian students who are beginners in English. And so uh, that's one way that our church serves uh, so there's a there's a whole bunch of things <laughs> that I get to do, mm -hmm. uh, and I really enjoy it. Uh, different ways to serve. There, it's just like kind of this amalgamation of uh, different disciplines that come together um, that I'm able to, you know, dip into uh, as as a way to serve people. So I love that. Right. Mm, yeah. No, it's never it's never the same thing. It sounds like every day you're always constantly maybe learning something new, and you know, so that, that's really neat. Yeah. Very dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds like you're really that to your point about helping out in the community that really living up to your to your mission and what the church is all about, which is which is awesome. Yes. <laughs> um, so, Jeremy, I see you're at Cape Space Hiatus right now. Yeah. Um, so you've been a member <laughs> for a few years, almost a few years now, and you've really gotten to experience like literally like everything we have to offer from our mailing address service to private office membership to meeting rooms. And now you're a, you're a business launch membership. So in kind of thinking of all your experiences at Cape Space, how has Cape Space helped you um, made your job uh, easier? Oh, wow. So many ways, um, you know, just from, from when I first started to plant this church, uh, that was in September, 2019. One of the first things I did was to, um, 
get a mailbox here. That's how I started. Uh, because having a business address is really important, whether you're starting a business or a church, uh, just being able to have a business address is a big deal for being able to even be on like Google Maps and different stuff like that and just um, be noticed, you know, to let people know you're there. And so I'm, that's where I started. Uh, then I was working out of my house a lot and realized that with, uh, you know, two kids and now three, uh, I could benefit from the business lounge membership and I uh, found it to be affordable and uh it was just a way for me to also be around people and to connect more too uh and so i enjoyed that then when COVID hit and everything was kind of on lockdown i got a private office at one point uh and so just the flexibility of being able to be a business lounge member or then have an office but also be able to go back to being a business lounge member when things opened up uh we have classes here that we do in the boardroom uh, when we didn't have a space, especially like as a church where we're trying to be dynamic and flexible and in a rough time, uh, we've been able to take advantage of the boardroom and do uh, some evening classes there uh, multiple times. And uh, you just have everything that you need here for that. And so, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been great. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome to hear. <laughs> and for any of you watching who might be interested in kind of any of the services we just discussed here, I would certainly encourage you to visit capespace.com. <laughs> Okay, Jeremy, now moving on to a little rapid fire Q&A. You ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so first off, what is your favorite hobby? Yeah, I thought about this one. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of hobbies. I, I probably should have more. Uh, but mm -hmm. I, for me, it's just like road tripping with my family is probably one of my favorite things to do with downtime. Just like getting all in the car, going, seeing someplace new. Uh, and uh, just kind of going on family adventures is probably my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. well, that's great. And actually dovetailing off of that, where's the best place you've ever traveled to or road trip to? Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's hard to say. Um, I, I, I haven't been out of the country as often as I would like to. So I'd have to say the best place that I've gone to uh, or the best adventure we've been on is uh, our trip to the Philippines as a family. Mm -hmm. Uh, with my wife and my daughter noelle who was three at the time and we were going there to bring home our son nathan oh, who we wow. adopted from there and so we spent uh, i think 10 days in manila and uh got to meet him got to see where he was and uh got to bring him home uh the ride home was probably one of the worst experiences of my life with two three-year-olds <laughs> just like all the, <laughs> the stuff that goes into you know bringing a child into a new environment and all that went mm -hmm. on with him but uh i think that's just one uh that's a an adventure i'll never forget right yeah what a beautiful experience yeah <laughs> um so what is your guilty pleasure i love that i'm asking the pastor what his what his guilty pleasure <laughs> is but <laughs> yeah no um I, you know, my wife and I, we really have been enjoying uh, the TV series, This Is Us. Uh, uh, and so yeah. uh, I know like the last season's coming, just came out. Uh, and mm -hmm. so we've been re-watching all the seasons together. And so when we put the kids to bed and we're folding laundry, we'll be like, you know, watching that for a good portion of the night. It's mm -hmm. hard to say that's a guilty pleasure. We're folding laundry at the same time. <laughs> but but no, yeah, I'd say that's, that's probably what comes to mind. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um what is um your all-time favorite movie yeah so uh questions about favorites i always have trouble with uh, mm -hmm. especially all-time favorites but i'd say uh two movies that have like really impacted me uh recently that got me thinking a lot were uh nomadland and minari both of those movies i just they seem to be like to stand out and be unique and uh, mm -hmm. One's just kind of about human longing and the other about fatherhood and, and like balancing the tension between being like on a mission for your family and being on a mission with your family. And uh, it was, mm -hmm. it was Minari just beautiful. So those two wow. stand out mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. <laughs> and lastly here, Jeremy. So as someone who people turn to for guidance, um, I'm wondering what would, what would be your advice to people as we kind of begin this new year? Yeah, I talked about this last Sunday, and I think, you know, one of the big things that I, I think about is how quickly um, news comes at us these days mm -hmm. that we know things as soon as they're happening, that I don't, I'm not sure we take enough time to actually process our year. Um, mm -hmm. News becomes old really fast because it comes out so quickly and it's replaced so quickly. And uh, one of the encouragements that I gave to our congregation was just to take time to process 
last year. Uh, you know, New York Times has like a year in photos. They do that every every single mm -hmm. new year. And uh, just to even look through that, sometimes you're like, whoa, that that happened this year. It feels like so long ago. <laughs> right. Uh, just to take time for the process. And of course, we're a church, so that means processing it with God and moving forward uh, with him. And then also, you know, striving to love our neighbors as ourselves, you know, second greatest mm -hmm. commitment. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> well, Jeremy, thank you so much for joining us. And before I let you go, um, if people are interested in learning more about Seven Mile Road and want to connect with you, uh, how can they do that? Yeah, they can go to our website, hyannischurch.com. Um, 10 a.m. on Sunday is when we meet at 70 Center Street in Hyannis. That's like right near Main Street. Um, and th that's probably the best way. You can always email me, jeremy at sevenmileroad.org. Uh, and, uh, yeah, those are the ways. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, Jeremy, thanks again so much. And thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.